We're asking the question of what's next in consumer tech. For this week's Tech Tuesday, we're joined by Ken Gullickson. He's a partner at Morgenthaler Ventures, a VC firm with over $3 billion under management. We told you back in the 70s he was an early investor in a startup you might have heard of, Apple. Got out of that position in the 80s, but we do want to get your insight here, Ken, in terms of what's next on the horizon. What's your big bet right now? Well, you know, it, it's interesting that uh, when David Morgenthaler invested in Apple in the uh, late 70s, he, he probably never foresaw the extent to which um, Apple would drive the entire agenda of right. consumer uh, technology even today. Um, what, what we're seeing now is a movement from services that are just, you know, purely websites to things that are more ubiquitous. So it's not just a website, it's uh, uh, something that is accessible through an iPhone application and and very shortly through uh, through the iPad We're, we see uh, you know the the most topical thing at the moment in Silicon Valley among software developers is the is the iPad and there's a, a scramble of several thousand developer groups uh, busily preparing uh, great new applications for uh, for that device. There's always so much noise before Apple launches a product and with the iPad there was I think it would be fair to say a fair amount of skepticism. People said to me it's just look, looks like a big iPod. What's the big deal here? But you're saying that's underselling the technology. You're seeing applications in the works specifically for the iPad here that you are excited about. Yeah, yes, I am. I, I, I'm seeing there, there are actually thousands of very interesting um, applications that are coming. I, I, you know, I, I have seen some criticism, you know, probably a, a greater supply of ink than imagination on the part of, uh, of a certain uh, segment of reviewers. <laughs> um, but I think people will be, uh, will be surprised by, uh, by the level of, and extent of support they see for, for that device. But when you talk about um, Apple spurring innovation elsewhere here, it sounds like what you're referring to, though, is the mobile trend. I mean, Morgan Stanley's Mary Meeker made a big bet on this a few months ago. That's really where yes. the iPhone conversation is based around, some of the applications in the works there. I mean, what is different about this time and mobile? Why do you think it's going to take off? Well, when, when Apple originally opened the application store for the iPhone, they really de redefined the entire business model of the mobile industry. So for carriers, for application developers, for handset makers, really for everybody, they completely changed the nature of the innovation ecosystem. And in the process, the entire mobile industry changed. It used to be that innovations in applications on phones came from Europe and from Japan. Mm -hmm. um, and from other parts of Asia, uh, and those were really the leaders. The center of that uh, innovation uh, storm has moved very, very much to Silicon Valley. You're about to put, um, you, you forecasted that two to three billion dollars is going to be put to work by VC firms this year in this space. Where specifically is that money going to go? Well, in, a, in the broader area of consumer technology, I think two to three billion is probably about the right number this year. Um, I, I like to frame it again in terms of um, it, it's not pure smartphone applications, it's not pure iPad applications, it's value through ubiquity. It's, ser it's web services that are accessible through all of those channels um, when, they're, when, and as, mm -hmm. uh, when and as appropriate. All um, right. Those are the most powerful companies. All right. Thank you so much, Ken Gullickson.